I say to groups all the time that I think the term leadership has been hijacked over the years. And what I mean by that is, if you go into a room, if I just pause right now and I said, tell me the definition of leadership, we would get, however many people are in here, my math's awful. So three million, there are three million in here, right? We get three million different definitions of what it, what it means to be a leader. And yet we throw that term around all day long with people like, hey, we need you to be a better leader. Hey, in this situation, we need some leadership, right? And we throw that around, and so oftentimes I ask back to people, to teams, organizations, I say, well, when you say you want leaders, what does that mean to you? Because tell me the type of leaders that you want. Because when I was growing up, whenever I heard anybody talking about leadership, oftentimes what they were describing is the person that just sit, gets to sit on top of the pyramid, on the very top, you know, they've earned their way up to the top, somehow, you know, they got the fancy title, the fancy car, they get up there and then they very authoritative and they just get to bark out orders and tell everybody what to do, right? That's what I, that's the way I, everybody heard people talking about leadership. But when I ask that question to everybody, to groups around the world, who are the most compelling and effective and influential leaders in your life? They never describe that. They never describe that person on the top of the pyramid. In fact, what they do describe is what I would refer to as servant leadership. They describe somebody that even if they're at the top of the pyramid, no matter what their role is, if they're the head honcho, the captain, the, the CEO, the, 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 the guru, they don't see themselves that way. Because in their own mind, and more importantly in their own heart, they've turned that pyramid upside down. And they see themselves as a servant leader at the bottom of the pyramid that their first mission and job as a leader is to serve the people around them, to serve their team and put them in position so they can be successful, to serve the needs of the people within their system so that it's better than it was yesterday, to put people in position to serve something that's greater than ourselves, whatever that is that we're coming together to do. And I believe this is the start of what I refer to as the human element. This is the beginning of that, the human element, to make sure that at the heart of everything we do, we keep humanity at the heart of it. Because it takes people, as you all know better than anybody, it takes people to accomplish anything of significance in the world. People. 